Good day, dear students. I'm Teacher Blessing A. Jobson, and today we will be talking about the different careers in music. If you love music and you know you want to make it your job, the hardest part might not be committing to going for it but choosing your perfect music career. There are tons of different ways you can get involved in music and lots of different music jobs that you can do. This lesson should help you narrow down your list a little and figure out which part of the music business suits you best. Do you have a good ear for music? Do you have a passion in creating original music? Does this sound like you? If yes, you may have what it takes to be Composers write and direct original music used to produce various types of media entertainment. They help to tell a story in a film, television show, play, video games, and etc. So what does a composer do? Composers create and arrange musical scores for anything that requires a soundtrack. The scores written need to be technically correct in order to create flawless performances by choruses, musicians, or instrumental ensembles. So what is the workplace of a composer? Movies, television shows, video games, plays, commercial songs, and orchestras all require composers to bring their projects to completion. Composers can work from home or in a studio to create and arrange scores for various forms of media. They also travel to and from rehearsals to direct and fine-tune performances. Next that you can be is a songwriter. So what is a songwriter? Songwriters often put lyrics to music for themselves or other individual singers, sometimes using computer software to practice recording. They spend their time penning songs by themselves or with other musicians, then performing the songs or seeing them perform on stages or in recording studios. It's not a necessary for a songwriter four. to receive Sounds any like formal training in music composition and theory. Plenty so are examples from successful spaces. songwriters who spaces, have been completely self-taught or have little knowledge around. of musical theory. Drove your car across the town. So this is an example Crashed of a songwriter. My lonely sound of nothingness scattered all. Some of you may ask, what is the difference between songwriter and a composer? Songwriters often put lyrics to music for themselves or other individual singers. While composers, he or she is someone who creates a music track or melody either for an instrumental or to be combined with lyrics which would form a song. Songwriters it is not necessary for them to receive any formal training in music composition and theory, while composers have extensive training in music composition and theory at the very start of their careers. Do composers need to know more theory than songwriters? Not necessarily better than a songwriter because both of them share similar skills, but since a composer is subjected to a wider array of musical writing, he needs to be more knowledgeable in music theory spectrum. Also, it's common for the composer to have knowledge of more diverse skills compared to a songwriter. Next career in music is the conductor. Take a moment. A conductor is an important part of a music ensemble, and it is necessary to a variety of performing groups, from choir 
choirs, marching bands, orchestras, and other instrumental groups. So what does a conductor do? A conductor directs and shapes a musical performance by an ensemble from its infancy in rehearsal to the eventual exhibition in front of an audience. Conductors communicate beat, tempo, at times the emotion to be conveyed while playing a musical piece to unify the performing group. career that you can have is being a music educator. Music teachers or music educators educate and train students in the skills required to succeed as musicians. They explain and demonstrate pitch, tempo, rhythm, and other concepts that are fundamental to singing and playing music. So what does a music teacher do? A music teacher is responsible for instructing students with the skills they will need to become successful musicians in their own right. This includes the basics of teaching how to play an instrument as well as fundamental concepts such as tempo, pitch. There are several types of music teachers. For an instance, a vocal instructor and an instrumental instructor. So for the vocal instructor, they help the students with singing technique, staying on pitch and finding the best arrangements for the student's voice, while an orchestra or an instrumental instructor teaches the students to play an instrument or multiple instrument. An instrumental teacher in a school setting, such as a band or orchestra director, may not be responsible for instructing students in more than one instrument even if they are not extremely familiar with how to play every instrument in the entire band. While a voice teacher instructs students in proper vocal technique, a vocal music teacher helps students to learn to stay on pitch while singing and gives tips on finding the best songs to fit a student's voice. A private voice teacher works with only one student at a time, whereas a voice teacher in a school is responsible for directing a whole choir. Music teachers also give private lessons out of their homes or at music stores and they generally set their own hours and decide how many clients they are going to see and give the lessons on a part-time basis. Some private teachers are also employed at schools on a full-time basis and teach privately for extra income, just like me. Next career is the musicologist. So what is a musicologist? A musicologist is also called as academic researcher, music historian, ethnomusicologist, and music theorist. A musicologist is an expert in music as a subject of scholarly research. So what does a musicologist do? Musicologists are scholars of music who consider the relationship between music and various subjects including geography, aesthetics, politics, race theory, gender theory, neuropsychology, and more. While most work as a music professor at conservatories or universities, Musicologists lack the technique-based approach most commonly associated with technique teaching music, instead preferring to view music through the lens of a social science. Musicologists offer their services as expert witnesses in copyright infringement lawsuits or working at organizations that create audio recognition software and music recommendation applications. 
musicologists might also consult for music publishing and licensing companies on matters of original music clearance, sample analysis, copyright evaluation, and verification of originality. They might also advise directors, music supervisors, and advertisers on the historical and stylistic accuracy of music in television, films, and advertisements. Next career that you can be is to be a music producer. A music producer. A music producer is someone who makes sure that when recording a song or making a record, the end result is as good as it can be by ensuring that a song is well produced and well recorded. It may mean giving the band or singer advice when it comes to certain aspects of their performance or making sure the engineer is doing his job the best way possible. A music producer also understands every aspect of a studio production and is well-rounded when it comes to how instruments and voices produce recordable sound. The job may be as passive as merely listening and nodding approval or as involved as placing microphones properly and even running a soundboard. A music producer is much the same as a director in a film overseeing each and every detail with the hope of producing a potential hit. So what does a music producer do? A music producer is the visionary for the overall sound and feel of a record or album. They visualize and imagine the end result, so they must be able to listen, experiment, and explore all aspects. Since producers can have a diverse set of skills, there are several potential roles they can play. Though not exclusive, some of these roles are Recording Engineer They are in charge of the technical aspects of recording and mixing tracks. Composer Who writes and directs original music Musician Who performs the instrumental or vocal part of a track Music manager who are in charge of making sure that the album gets produced from hiring the right people to getting the job done and making sure all deadlines are met. And remixer who takes part from a recording to make a new version. And lastly, mentor possibly follows and helps an artist make decisions on their record. A producer's skill is not directly tied to their technical knowledge of music, like playing an instrument or understanding how the technology works, though that is a huge help. The producer is in charge of making a song sound the way he or she thinks it should sound to be a competitive within its market. Do you have a passion for music and enjoy working with technology? If yes, then maybe audio engineering and sound engineering job is for you. So who are audio engineers? Audio engineers are also known as the sound engineers. They mix, reproduce, and manipulate the equalization and electronic effects of sound. Audio engineers use technical knowledge and expertise to produce and manipulate the sound for a range of performances and recordings. Sound engineers or audio engineers play a vital role in the music industry. Anyone who has ever been to a concert and impressed with the clarity and overall quality of the music can think a talented engineer controlling that sound. What does a music technologist, audio engineer, sound engineer do? An audio engineer works with the technical aspects of sound during the process of recording, mixing, and reproduction. Audio engineers often assist record producers and musicians to help give their work the sound they are hoping to achieve. 
by controlling microphones, sound levels, and outputs, audio engineers combine their well-trained ears with their knowledge of acoustics to produce the best quality of sound for a variety of purposes. In addition to the music industry, sound engineers might work in film, radio, television, computer games, theater, sporting events, and corporate events. An audio engineer will piece together parts of a song, use auto-tune on a recording, and or add synthetic sounds to a track. Audio engineers are different from producers. However, some audio engineers go on with their careers to double as producers or assume the role of a producer. There are different types of sound engineers. First, we have the monitor sound engineers. This type of engineer takes care of the sound a band hears on their monitors on stage. A band member who asks something along the lines of, Can you turn down my guitar a little bit? is talking to the monitor sound engineer. Next type of engineer is we have the system engineers. They take care of setting up amps, amplifiers, complex PA systems, and speakers for the bands and other sound engineers. Third is the studio sound engineers. They work in studios to make high quality recordings of music, speech, and sound effects. So what is the workplace of an audio engineer like? The workplace of an audio engineer varies by what each engineer chooses to specialize in. Audio engineers are found working in places such as music studios, film studios, television studios, with band crews, tour crews, event crews, and maintenance crews, opera houses, playhouses, theaters, conference centers, auditoriums, government offices, and institutions of higher education so how to become an audio engineer training in radio television music audio performing arts broadcasting or electrical engineering can all lead to a career in audio engineering many colleges and universities offer specific training in audio engineering and sound recording often though Audio engineers have no formal training but instead attain professional experience and skills in audio through extensive on-the-job experience. Next career that you can have is to be a music therapist. So who are music therapists? A music therapist is part of an employment subgroup of creative arts therapists who use the arts to treat mental illness, provide support for individuals with disabilities, and to promote wellness and personal growth. And music therapists create a therapeutic and supportive environment which taps into nonverbal processes to facilitate emotional, physical, and mental change. It is effective with individuals who may have difficulty expressing themselves in normal ways. So for example, a child, a child who have experienced trauma prior to the development of language skills or people who have gone through profound trauma cannot express it verbally. Children and adults who are developmentally disabled are unable to express themselves verbally can often communicate through the arts and music. Music therapists use techniques like relaxation, guided imagery, and improvisation and they also incorporate sound, music, and rhythm in a way to engage clients. Music therapy is a clinical and evidence-based therapy technique that has been proven to achieve individual and group goals when applied by a qualified professional. 
music therapist must do a thorough assessment of client needs and strengths. Goals and objectives are identified and a treatment program is developed. A good arts therapist will consider a range of artistic activities and will not hesitate to refer a client to another practitioner if another creative modality is considered more effective. Next career that she can be is to be a performer. It may be a singer or an instrumentalist. A performer is an entertainer that creatively express their artistic talent to an audience. These artists perform before live audiences or in recorded performances. Many performing artists have practiced their craft since their talents emerged during childhood. Now some of you may ask yourself, is music career right for me? The answer is, the first step to choosing a career is to make sure you are actually willing to commit to pursuing the career. Don't waste your time doing something you don't want to do. That's the end of our discussion. I hope you learned something. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe.